Bliss. Welcome back to my channel and my self tanning series. So this week, guys, I'm trying a budget tan from a supermarket called Aldi. In the UK, you will know this, but I do believe they have Aldi's in other countries. It's whether they have the same beauty products in there, I don't know. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sarah. Thank you so much for coming to view this video and join me on my self tan series journey, guys. I've nearly done three years worth. If you do like a self tan review, this is the place to be, like I always say. So I picked it up, £2.99, guys. £2.99. I was walking around, I was like, Aldi do self tans now? Yes, please. And it's 2 99 They have the light, medium, dark, and obviously I picked up the dark, which is like the purple rim. And it's Lucura, which is their um, like beauty brand for Aldi, I believe. They do have like makeup products that are dupes or a lot of stuff as well uh, that I've tried before. So let's read, oh, it's 150 ml. Let's read what it says then. It's cruelty free, which is really good. I don't know if it's vegan friendly. It don't say. It's very basic information. Um, let's read what it says. Hyaluronic acid instantly hydrates, infused with a cocktail of superfruits, delicately yet luxuriously fragranced. Benefits, hydrated formula, quick dry and ready to go colour in 60 seconds. Yeah, it does say dries in 60 seconds. We'll see about that, guys. Um, olive tone. So it should be an olive tone tan. Natural wear off, streak free. So it sounds all good. It's paraben free as well. I haven't seen any reviews on this. Like I say, I didn't even realize they had a self tan. Maybe it's new, but we're gonna check it out, guys. You don't actually say how long to leave it on for. It don't. It gives you gives you directions for applying it, but you don't say how long to leave it on for. Me personally, I just leave it on overnight. It was plus. You decide how long you want to leave it on for. But if I want the darkest results, I leave it on just overnight. So yeah, eight hours plus. Get back to your morning before I wash off the guy colour. Then wash off the guy colour. Show sure, after one result. Um, then put a second layer on, because that's what I do. Leave it on throughout the day. Shower that off and get back to you after that. So I'll see you in a second, guys. So I'm doing it quite early on, actually, guys, today. Just so I can be in more natural light for you to apply it. However... Because it's early on in the day, I won't be doing my hands because I've still got to wash my hands and stuff. So yeah, that would just take it off my hands anyway. So forget about the hands at the minute. I will put it on my hands at some point later on in the day or on second layer. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to apply it to my body, all my body and my face right now, guys. Let's do it. So I haven't pumped it yet. Let's hope the pump works. <laughs> there we go. See, it's quite nice to see better in natural light. So here we go, guys. It's a nice colour. What's it smell like? I don't... Um, like floral, maybe? Like a floral scent? Like perfume floral? <laughs> it's going on nice though, guys. And I would definitely say this is a red undertone tan. Definitely. Nice smooth mousse as well, considering this is... Two ninety nine. What? If you don't like a red base, <laughs> this might not be for you. It, look how smooth that goes on, guys. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I know a lot of you have been asking me like what I do to scrub off my tan and things. I get a lot that ask ask me um, like what what products do I use to scrub off my tan. It's nothing special really, but I will do a video. I think my next video will be like how I prep, what I use to prep and stuff um but it's nothing special honestly it really isn't but i will show you just to let you know anyway that will probably be my next one actually instead of a review maybe um yeah and i'll show you guys i'll show you you can see the difference it's a nice color it's a nice dark shade not too red undertone which is good because you do worry sometimes with sort of uh, cheaper budget tans that they might be overly sort of maybe orange but at this stage it's not it's nice so i'll get back to you in a minute once i've done all the my body and face not my hands <laughs> and i'll see you in a second guys so here it is all applied apart from my hands <laughs> here we go really nice color guys really nice to apply that buttery smooth mousse and as i was applying it to the rest of my body it smelled very familiar and i think it smells like the tanologist tan if you ever had that before it's like the floral, I can't, you know what I'm like, guys, with scents and smells. I'm not very good. But yeah, I think it smells very similar to that, if you've ever tried that before. So yeah, really good, guys, so far. So what I do is, I'm not sure yet, actually. I don't know whether to leave it on 
till the end of the night, very late at night though, and wash it off and show you after that, or just leave it on throughout the night as well, like throughout the day and night, and come back to you in the morning. I'm not sure yet, but either way, it'll be on eight hours plus, so you'll see it anyway, regardless. So I'll see you later. So it is the evening now, guys. I've had this tan on about nine hours, I think. Here it is, before wash off. Here it is. Really nice. Looks really nice. I hope it don't wash off too much, fingers crossed. In terms of drying time, it was about 10, 15 minutes. That's not too bad. Yes, it's not the 60 seconds that it claims, but still pretty good, decent drying time. DHA, I could smell some with this. Maybe it's because I wore it throughout the day that I could smell it a bit more maybe than throughout the night. Don't know, but it wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna go in the shower now. Let's see what we have, guys. So here it is, one layer washed off, guys. I'm washing my hair tomorrow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Nice and natural. I'd say it's a medium to dark on me. And it don't look as red undertone now as it did when the guide colour was on. So that might be a positive for some of you out there that it's not so red undertoned as it was before. Streak free. Feels nice on my skin. It's clung to a couple of dry patches on my face, but not too bad, not too much. So I'm impressed. I'm really impressed considering it's only £2.99, guys. So good. Good colour payoff. I'm going to put on that second layer right now and leave it on throughout the night this time, the second layer. And then I'll get back to you at some point tomorrow to give you my final thoughts and show you the second layer washed off. So good night, guys. So here it is, second layer washed off. It looks so natural. It looks so nice. It's gone really well on my hands. My hands haven't gone really dark on my feet, so that's really good. If you don't like that, you know a lot of tans do that to me. But yeah, no, this has gone really, really nice. Really nice to apply, a super smooth mousse, good colour payoff, dries fairly quickly, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, if you are going around Aldi, guys, and you're looking for a self tan, or just want to pick a tan up anyway, it's only £2.99, definitely recommend this, guys. Well done, Aldi. Uh, I can't link it down below, because I think you can only get it from Aldi itself. I don't think Aldi have an online store or anything, so check out your local Aldi to see if it's in there. Thank you so much for watching guys, you know I always appreciate If you did like the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. That is the wind howling guys in the background. Ooh. And if you did want to see the tan wear of this after six days, I do a YouTube short on Wednesday that will tell you what it's like after six days of wearing it guys. And then I will do my next video in two weeks time. That's either gonna be another review, a tan review, or I might do myself tan prep video that week so check it out guys take care stay safe bye